Hi, I'm Casey from Retroactive Arcade and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about a specific type of joystick. Now this joystick, uh, the actual name of it, the Servo Stick, is coined and designed by Altamark. Um, it is just a JLW Sanwa joystick. So um, it's a basic Sanwa joystick, it's one of the most popular that's out there. Uh, and now with uh, Altamark's help it's become one of the most versatile uh, joysticks that are available to uh, you and me for home use and everything else. So uh, a couple little things about the joystick is in its basic form it looks pretty much like this with the ball top, bat top, doesn't matter. Uh, it comes with a restrictor plate on the bottom that is a manual restrictor plate. Four little bolts or four little screws and then you can actually loosen them and then you turn it manually to change it from four-way to eight-way. With that being said you need to have access to underneath by lifting it up from the front and stuff. This box is uh, set up that way. Most people don't have that option. One of the other options for this uh, um, servo stick slash J stick is what Ultimark calls it. We just call it the Sanwa JLW. Um, basically you can get from Ultimark you can get the uh, it's like an LED RGB LED shaft with the ball upgrade. It also comes with the harness that goes directly to a L RGB LED controller. Uh, any of the uh, machines that you see online while you're looking at some of these guys who've built arcade machines that have the ball top that lights up and stuff, that this is the stick and that's the setup that they that they use. Now, with that being said, it can get very expensive, especially if you go with the way that we're talking about here. But man, it solves a problem really fast. So a lot of guys find the issue where they want to have four-way and eight-way operation, and a lot of guys what they'll do is they'll put a separate stick uh, somewhere else on the control panel dedicated for that four-way operation because um, most games are you know full eight-way fighting games things like that now this is a high-end joystick that will give you the versatility of both um, and it gives you the opportunity like I said before uh, I don't mind repeating myself on this that it'll do it without being able to have access to lift the top up and get underneath manually um, so without further ado I oh what I wanted to one thing I wanted to definitely say is that um, this one here comes with a uh, it's versatility doesn't end there you can pretty much take any ball top from any website anything like that any color whatever you want and then put it on and uh, it'll fit this actual stick okay so now from underneath this is where the magic happens on this bad boy so with the servo stick itself now it's as you can see it's mechanical so it sets up by um, using a servo to actually change the direction of four-way to eight-way on here now I showed you the restrictor restrictor plate on the uh, on the base model which was clear and it has kind of gears and you can kind of change it and whatever now nothing's really changed with the setup on the joystick underneath but uh, Altamark has designed kind of like a, a lever plate on there that's made out of nylon which is uh, a lot more um, kind of friction friendly and stuff so it'll actually move a lot smoother um, and then they also put on their servo kind of uh, solenoid there with their base platform that fits and mounts specifically to this J or I keep saying J stick but it is the servo stick it's all the same and each stick comes with a little PCB now that PCB has enough power to power both like two sticks on one panel or obviously you're going to want to go you know with two PCBs if you have a four player now you can put this um, PCB uh, on any on, on each one to give it more power to guarantee that it's going to go through um, the way you want it to but uh, it will power the two now it is a little bit underpowered if you have a long run of, of uh, cable to go from one side to another if you've got a really spread out panel uh, it, it, it does seem a little bit weak as uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because you've got your USB which is powering this thing which is uh, running it at 5 volts okay so if you're running a bunch of systems and a whole bunch of stuff on your computer and it's drawing a lot of power and it wants to make this switch if you've got a long run it might not it might be a little underpowered to do that so you might have to hit the switch twice or whatever but with uh, with this specific one I think this is probably about the farthest I'd go with a run on it for sure now what I did was I just hooked everything up the way you see it here uh, we'll do a zoom in and I'll show you how it works in a bit here but uh, basically I just plugged it all in I plugged it into my computer went to the Ultimark website right on the front page there's a picture of a servo stick I clicked on that I went to its 
subsidiary page and then we went down two pages and then you can see this little icon or little display here um, that shows eight-way, four-way, it's kind of a tester thing. Just below that, on the wording here, it says download your test version or your, your servo stick test program here. I clicked on it, two and a half seconds later, uh, it said run, run the program for servo EXE. I hit OK, my little bad boy window popped up for me to test it. Now you can download the software for this servo stick uh, on the website here too, it's just actually just below that. And then you can configure these uh, servo sticks to do whatever you want them to do or work when you want them to. Um, they will work in hyperspin. So basically, if you're looking and playing a game of, uh, you know, Street Fighter, that type of thing, and then you go just choose the game of Pac-Man, it'll change it automatically to your four way. Now, when you're using LED Blinky and you're using a couple other, or a couple other things like the Howler or something like that, um, it'll change the lights of availability of what's being used for that game as well. So that joystick would just light up in Pac-Man because there's no other buttons. And then it'll change from 8-way to 4-way. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can actually choose to put a manual button on your control panel down below wherever you want and you can just press that button and it'll provide the five volts of power for the time that you hold it down and it'll switch it automatically for you um, this is exactly what it's going to look like this is what i mean by switching for you so I'll, we'll look down at the uh, joysticks here and i'm going to go from eight way which i believe we're in yeah and go to four way so it's as simple as that now it's only providing five volts of power um, to each one so it does one at a time because it's quite it, you know it'd be uh, it would consume a lot of power to go the other way and we'll go back to eight way and there you go so it does one one and then it just finishes it off do it one more time just for you oh it's so sweet and it's quiet um, it does it fairly quick uh, if you go into your games and stuff, I'm pretty sure you can wait that second and a half that it's going to be to go there. So it's, it's no, there's no real lag on it. Um, for the mechanics of it, it runs pretty smooth. They're pretty reliable. I haven't had any complaints with uh, any of the ones that we've installed. Uh, I haven't, any, uh, haven't had any issues for any of the ones that we've sold for people. They're pretty straightforward. Um, the point of this video is to kind of alleviate any kind of worry or that type of a thing when you're looking at this thing and it looks somebody a lot of people think that it's a, a lot more involved than it actually is. I mean it comes with three parts you put it together and you've got two wires to go in there and a USB out and the rest is programming and it literally took me about a minute and a half to get it set up so that I can test it at the very least. Now the programming aspect of it on the other side is going to take you anywhere from 15 minutes, half hour, kind of figure out the program, whatever. And there's a ton of information on forums and stuff about it as well. Um, as it sits, if you have any questions or anything like that, since we sell the product, we support it 100%. Ultimark is amazing. Andy over there is really great. He'll get back to you usually within 24 hours. We usually get back to you a little bit sooner. We're not as big as Ultimark. But uh, as you, uh, with all that being said, you can contact us anytime through via email. You can phone us. You can text us to the number that's there. That's our, that's our shop cell phone kind of thing. So we're good to go. We'll get back to you as soon as we can on any of that for information. And uh, yeah, we look forward to showing you a couple more demos of a bunch of different sticks that are coming this way. And uh, I know I keep saying it, and I'm going to do one of these LED blinkies sooner or later here. So have a nice day, and thanks for hanging out with us.